Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can load a previous application in Pythagora that you were working on before. So over here first on the left hand side, make sure you click the Pythagora icon to have Pythagora loaded over there on the right hand side of the screen if you haven't already. Once you see Pythagora loaded here, go down to the bottom and click the button that says load app. Once you click load app, you'll see the screen with two different drop down menus over on the right hand side. The first says load app, which you can click to load the specific application you want to continue working on. Next, down below, you'll see where it says select development step. And if you want to do the latest step and pick up exactly where you left off before, leave it selected as latest step. Or if you want to back up to a previous step you were working on in the application, maybe you want to do it over again, or maybe you want to disregard the changes that were made and go off in a different direction, you can do that. Just click on the drop down and scroll back to a previous step or a previous task to redo it or to go off in a different direction. And once you, once you select the app and select the development step you want to pick up on, click load app here. And what that'll do is that'll start loading the application. Now you might see this where Pythagora tells you that it found some new and or modified files, as you can see here in this application. What that means is um, if you work on the application, perhaps on your own without Pythagora, if you've made some changes, if you added some code yourself, or if you modified some stuff, Pythagora will detect that since it um, changes made since you've previously been working on the application with Pythagora. In this case, you can see it found five um, different files that were either changed or added to the application. And then down below, Pythagora will ask you, do you want to keep those changes or do you want to disregard those changes and restore the code base back to its previous state when Pythagora was previously working on your application? So if you select yes, Pythagora will keep all the changes and any modifications you made to the code base and then Take those into consideration and you'll be able to continue working on your application with those changes or if you like if you select no restore to the last previous Pythagoras state it'll disregard any changes you made in the code base it'll remove that code and it'll basically pick up exactly where it left off before you modified the application so make your choice and then you'll be able to go from there and that's pretty much it and let us know in the Discord if you have any questions or if you have any issues. We're always around in the Discord, so happy to help and happy coding, everyone.